They say if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. At Jumpin' Jacks in Scotia, even with all the lights and appliances off, the thermostat is still really high. And it's reading 89 right now. If the kitchen were up and running, it could get up to 120 degrees, too hot for employees. So a few days ago, General Manager Mark Lansing posted this message on Facebook, letting folks know they'd be closed today. Give them a heads up so they don't come down for lunch and get upset. But not everyone got the message. Come to get a Jack burger and order fries. Loyal customers like Ron Strasser and Gary Ridley traveled all the way from Sharon Springs. I hate to tell you, they're closed. Oh my God, what happened? Oh, wow. Just today. Just it's today? Because of the heat. <laughs> Did they really? No Jack burgers for them today. We have two 550 degree pizza ovens on. At Jimmy's Pizzeria and Restaurant in Lansingburg, they were slinging zaz and frying wings, but keeping all the fans on hot. I got a full stocked up ready to go. Owner Tony Buchanan was making sure his employees stayed stocked up on Gatorade. But today's menu is delivery or takeout only. Enjoy your day. Thank you. With the extreme heat, Tony made the decision to close their dining room. But with the heat, going on outside and some of the heat kind of seeps through from the kitchen itself, it would be impossible to, to cool it down. He says extreme heat typically keeps customers home anyway. Because most people when they get out of work today, I'm assuming, are going to go straight to their house, straight to their pool, um, straight to their sprinklers, or straight to their air conditioner. So give us a call and we'll bring it to you. Now this is of course only a temporary situation and things are expected to return back to normal on Friday. In Scotia, Anya Tucker, News 10, ABC.